Hi, I welcome you all in this new video which is on F test. First of all, we should know why F test is performed. F test is performed and it is basic requirement to find out to, or to conduct an independent sample t-test. Independent sample t-test has one important assumption that two group variants are equal or not. We can perform independent sample t test once two groups have equal variance. Otherwise, we cannot perform. So now let's move on to find out what will be the hypothesis testing under this. Another hypothesis is ample variance of groups are equal or same, whereas the alternate hypothesis is variance of two groups are not equal, they are not same. So these are the hypotheses. Now let's move on to Excel file where you will see how we can perform this test in Excel. For that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and watch this video till end to understand that we test and that is. Before coming to find out the significance of F test, initially we need to calculate the variance. So, what is the formula to calculate the variance? Variance, and here we, we have P, VAR dot P, and VAR dot S. So, we will take for S sample. We will take here numbers and close the bracket. Hit enter and here is the variance. So in X series, variance is 20. Let's take it down to second. Here I have taken the same series for X and Y to understand the concept in a better manner. And here what we are finding the variance is same. Let's move on to another file. Here another file in second file you can see time the data for x is 1 to 15 whereas in y the data is from 15 to 1 this is reverse if i have to find out the correlation it will be the effective negative correlation but this variance remains same among these two so tell me what we will do yes you are right we will take this formula variance upon variance dot s and Take the numbers, close it, hit enter. Yes, first series it remains same, and second series it remains same. Look, the data is entirely different, but the variance remains the same. So, how we can find out whether it is statistically significant or not? For that, let's me take you to another Excel file and then we will find out by using Excel data analysis app whether it is significant or not but before that let's move on to another sheet here i am entering the new data x remains the same and here this time i'm taking let's start taking seven then nine nine then eleven and thirteen and then just take down so this time we have different series. Let's calculate the variance. So tell me again the step B A R dot S. Yes, you're right. And take the numbers. Here we are taking the numbers. Close the bracket, hit enter, and it remains 20. But now look into wow, there is a big difference. In X series, the variance is 20, whereas in Y series, Variance is 80. So, this is important requirement also to find out whether there is a significant difference or not, which of the two groups has larger variance. Now, let's find out whether this is statistically significant or not, different or not. For that, let's move on to first file here. This is data tab. 
and here we have data analysis if you don't know how to activate it you can watch my video on i button the link is given and in description the link is given as well so you can take it from there so this is already activated otherwise you can scroll down up and down and here is the f test two sample variants click ok one thing i want to convey you in this case both the series has variance as 20 so here what is the first range this one what is the second range second variable range we are taking this and if we have we have not taken labels so we will not click it here next time we will take it and output range is d2 cell so click enter here you can see it has given us the various statistics as well the first one is mean what is it showing the mean remains same among these two series that is it variance variance across two series is also same observation observations are 15 in both degree of freedom is n minus 1 what is f value f value you can find out here it is 1 how it is calculated it is calculated in this way i can show you manually variance of first group divided by variance of second group and that's why we have obtained one remember one more thing this is a table of critical value and in this case the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so if we have to check kernel hypothesis that i will tell you once we have understood the entire concept in next two excel file as well so let's do the same for this file this time it is a reverse opposite order but let's move on to performing F test yes the steps will remain same as we already taken the data so it is taking the entire thing just click ok So hardly there is any difference between the result because the series are same although uh, when x is 1 y is 15 x is 5 y is 11 x is 15 and y is 1 although series are opposite but we are not concerned what is the order of the series we are concerned here with the variance whether the variance is equal or no so in this series again we are finding the variance is equal so now let's move on to third example here we have seen the data is entirely different in x series and y series and the variance that we have calculated is 20 and 80 in order to know whether it is significant or not let's perform variance test remember here this is very important step you have to take first variable in which the variance is high this is basic or essential thing that you have to do so let's this time take level as well so here i am taking the data this is input range 1 this is input range 2 we have taken label as well so click it already we have taken the output range so click ok so what is the mean mean the mean different also variance yes the two series the given two series are very much different and whether they are statistically significant or not for that we need to take the decisions on the basis of p value which is reported here so here are the results you can see the p value is less than 0 0.05 so we can say as p value is 0 0.0074 which is less than 0 0.05 we have strong evidence to support that we can reject the hypothesis so it can be concluded that there is a significant difference for watching this video.